Hey, Kirk Farnham with you with a little social commentary. I was reading about the uh, latest gun massacre in Texas, and I was thinking about how brilliantly uh, Frost and Lynch <clears throat> handled gun violence and also the opioid um, epidemic that's sweeping the country right now. Headlines, very topical. I almost feel like Lynch kind of saw the future and what was coming and incorporated it into the story so brilliantly. Everyone seems to have a gun. Jilted lovers, people with road rage, just laying around in your apartment on the floor, and lots of hardcore drug use, right? Not, not kind of fun like it was in 89 with Laura, you know, doing a little coke with Bobby and getting goofy. No, these are addicts, all right? This is the face of 2017 Twin Peaks, Okay, all those beautiful teenagers dancing around, the jukebox are gone. And there's a great scene when Bobby, Shelly are consoling their daughter. Um, and it's this really sweet moment in the diner. And you're like, oh, the old Twin Peaks is back. And all of a sudden, boom, a shot comes through the window. Bobby runs outside to see what's up. And a boy has shot up the diner. The mother, hysterical, screaming, the boy, completely indifferent. You have kind of like a blue state, red state response. The dad, red state, going, ah, what you gonna do? Boys will be boys, right? Really disturbing, and we're kind of digesting all of this and thinking about what just happened. Some people said this was a dream. It doesn't really matter because it's, it's commentary on the state of America. And behind the shooter, you have this woman in the car. She's honking her horn. She has to get going. She's late. She's late. She's late. Now, a kid just shot up a diner. So you'd think she'd stop. She'd get out. What the hell's going on? Mm -mm. She just has to get going. Now, isn't this woman all of us, right? Aren't we so numb to gun violence that we're like, Ugh, I just need to get where I'm going. Doesn't phase me. I've got problems of my own. This happens all the time. And Bobby's looking in at her when problem number two in America comes literally rising up out of the seat. Drug addiction. Opioid abuse. And again, isn't this us? We uh, turn on the news, read the newspaper, and it's like we're just a shuttlecock bouncing back and forth from the gun epidemic to the opioid epidemic. We can't even keep up. This country is awash in pills and drugs, and it doesn't show any signs of slowing down. And just so topical the way they tackled this, you know, the, the Twin Peaks Police Department, they're overwhelmed. In Twin Peaks, that's America. That's not just Twin Peaks. And man, if this is 2017, mm, no wonder we're all drinking so much. I'll see you at the curtain call.